Hey everybody, I'm Stacy Lynn giving you the best recipes, gardening, and design tips from my southern home. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Today, I'm going to be making one of my very favorite dishes ever. And it's at the beginning of the year, so everybody is really thinking about their diet and exercise, and I am no different and I'm doing the same thing. So I'm trying to eat high protein, low carbs, and this recipe goes great with a low carb um, diet, so or a keto diet. So what I'm making is out of my cookbook, and it is this, it's not roasted okra, uh, not can cantaloupe ice cream, <laughs> just a second, I had it. There we go. It's my eggplant lasagna. It is delicious, and you're replacing the, um, the noodles for eggplant. So it is so good. I'm making homemade pesto today, which is this recipe. So I'll be making the homemade basil pesto, but I'm using parsley instead because I don't have pest, I don't have any basil. There's nowhere that has basil right now. And if I had, which I'm going to get, if I had a um, gardening um, greenhouse, then I would be making basil pesto because I'm sure that I would be able to grow the basil right now, but it's cold in Alabama or cooler and we can't grow the basil right now. So I have parsley and I'm gonna show you just how to make that. So I have a marinara that I made and that's also in the book under tomato sauces and um, and gardening, you know, kind of the, all of the vegetables. I've got the basil pesto and I've got my eggplant. So I have already grilled my eggplant and now I'm just cutting this parsley. If you don't have parsley, you can always use, um, and you don't have basil, you can use spinach, you can use kale. Um, those to me are the best. You can even use cilantro. A lot of people don't like cilantro because it has kind of a, a soapy taste if you are one that um, has that gene. It's like actually a gene where anytime you eat cilantro, you taste soap. So I don't have that, thank goodness, because I love cilantro. And partially, sometimes I can feel like it tastes a little bit like that. But um, I'm gonna be using two cups of parsley, chopped parsley, and it's actually, the, the cup's measurement is when it is chopped. So in my, my basil pesto recipe, it's after you've chopped the basil, okay? Because that's always kind of, um, you know, you, you just never know. All right, so that's about two cups. It may be a little bit more, but that's okay. So I'm gonna put that down into my food processor. Everybody asks me what I'm using. I'm using a brawn food processor. Okay, then I'm gonna put a cup of Parmesan cheese. Now, fresh is best. And I um, ground this a long time ago and it's very, very ground. And you can freeze this. You can freeze the pesto by putting it, putting a layer of saran wrap or something like that down into an ice cube tray and putting the pesto without the cheese because you don't really wanna you don't wanna freeze it inside the pesto, um, inside the oil and all that. But inside, and put your whole pesto down inside the little cubicles over your saran wrap. And then when you're ready to make pasta or anything, you just pull it out, pop those out of there, and you know, um, put them in a saucepan, melt them down, and put them right over your pasta. Okay, so about a, a cup of that, about a quarter cup of pine nuts. You can use walnuts. You don't have to use that. You don't have to use pine nuts. You can use pecans. You can use just about anything. Um, and I've got my oil here, which is about three quarter cup of oil. And so I'm gonna drizzle that in after I put this down in here. Okay, so my, I don't need any salt in this. You can add more salt if you want to, but I don't need it because my um, Parmesan cheese is already salty. Okay, so now I'm just gonna turn this on. There we go. Pour the oil down in here. Okay, so I'm gonna try not to get it too oily because in this pasta, the um, or this eggplant par um, parmesan, it ends up getting a little bit too thick. I need to wear my glasses sometimes when I'm cooking because I could not tell that this was down in there. There we go. All 
right, look at that. That is such a beautiful color. It's just perfect. All right, so I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to also add a little bit of garlic to that. Of course, you could have done that at the beginning, but since I'm a little late, it's no big deal. So I'm going to just peel this garlic and put it right down in there and, and get it going. I want it to be really good and garlicky. I'm just going to add two of these cloves to this. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a head start since everything is already chopped. So, my family loves to have this parsley or, or this pesto in the summer when the basil is fresh. It is so good to have this like on a pizza with an easy tomato sauce and just to put dollops of the um, pesto and then some chicken on top of that or sausage. It is so delicious. Now, your true Italians will not like that you use parsley or cilantro or anything like that. Strictly for pesto, they always use basil. Okay, so I've got that done. Now, I'm going to just put down in my pan here a little bit of the tomato sauce. Now, I have the tomato sauce in my book as well. And this tomato sauce is super easy. This time, I left it a little bit chunky um, just because I like it that way. Um, but normally I would, uh, put down an immersion blender in here while it's on the stove. It is so easy to make this. All you have to do to make that tomato sauce, by the way, this is just, um, grilled eggplant. I cut them about an eighth of an inch thick and then I'm just placing the little, the acting as if they're the noodles, the uh, lasagna noodles. And it's okay if they overlap a little bit. Um, so I'm just placing those down in here. But what I did is I just tossed these with a little bit of oil, like three tablespoons, this is three um, eggplant, tossed them in a little bit of oil, about three tablespoons of oil, and a little bit of oregano and thyme, a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's it. And then I just grilled them and I actually did it on a uh, non-stick skillet. And it ended up doing really well because I did not have to put any extra oil. If you do it on a sticky kind of skillet, um, it will have too much oil a lot of times and this can get really oily. And if you're trying to watch calories, you don't want that. So it doesn't take a whole lot of oil and I just made them pliable. They're not completely done. So, um, the other thing is before I put them in here, I put a little bit after I sliced them about an eighth of an inch thick. You can do that with a mandolin or you can do that with a knife. I put a little bit of salt on it and it drew out the water and then I patted it with a paper towel. And so that's pretty much all I did to prepare these like noodles for this sauce. Okay. So now I've got about a cup of ricotta cheese with two eggs and that's what this is right here. So at this point, I am going to put a little bit of this mixture down in here. I'm just gonna dollop that, maybe spread that out just a, a tad. And then I'm gonna continue to layer with my pesto and my sauce and the eggplant. So it's super, super easy to do. And it's so, so good and so fresh. Okay, now I'm just gonna dollop a little bit of that. Look at how pretty that looks. That is so gorgeous. This color is just so beautiful. And y'all, the pizza that I make with this, I'm, I, you can use all the exact ingredients. So you could make double the ingredients and then make a, uh, a pizza dish. Or you can do this with, uh, make a white sauce, you know, to go on pasta and put just, add a little bit of the pesto on top of that. Okay, so I'm gonna do another layer of the noodles. Look at how good that looks, y'all. And I just love, love, love eggplant. Um, and they're really super easy to grow. My eggplant did really good this summer in the garden. And I am thrilled that, well, we used every bit of our eggplant, every single bit that we had. Um, this past year, as soon as it got ready, we harvested it and we ate it. I did a lot of roasted vegetables this summer. And so now I'm just 
I had to go to the farmer's market to get this and I'm assuming the person had a greenhouse. Okay, so I'm putting a little bit more of the tomato sauce. Now the tomato sauce, all I did was sweat some onions and then sweat a little bit of garlic, or not sweat it, but saute a little bit of garlic in there after about, after they had completely gotten, um, after they were sweated. And then I put in tomatoes and, um, and let, and then just kind of, I had a um, potato masher and I just mashed the tomatoes down in there with the sauce and they were canned. I had them canned from the summer, but you can use, um, you can use some from the grocery store, just, you know, get the stewed tomatoes, mash them down in there, and then I let it just go for about an hour and just kind of really intensify all of the flavors. I put a little bit of oregano in there, a bay leaf, and just let it go, and there you go. That's it. I mean, it is so easy to do. Okay, so let me get back to my spoon, and I'm going to dollop a little bit of the pesto on here. Okay, and... Then the cheese mixture, and it's just gonna be delicious. I'm gonna end up topping all of this with mozzarella, and I like to go ahead and shred mine. It seems to melt better in, you know, in the oven. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this on here. All right, so you can use, um, in this, you could use Romano cheese as well. If you wanted to put Romano or you wanted to put um, Parmesan and mix that in here with it, that would be great too. Okay, so I'm just gonna add now my more, more of my noodles and so it goes. So at the end, I'll be putting the mozzarella, which is absolutely delicious. So. Um, you can find this recipe on my website at stacylynharris.com. If you subscribe, you can get a newsletter um, every week that has my newest, latest recipes, uh, tells you where I'm going to be because I'd love to see you, uh, probably some good discount codes depending on the week, and um, some healthy living uh, kinds of blog posts and so I think that you would love that. Then I'm, I'll also give you a free downloadable preserving ebook. And I'm also creating a new ebook. And so you would be the first to get that when I do that. And it's gonna be one pot meal. So I'm super excited about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more on here. I'm gonna add the last layer, which um, I keep losing my spoon. So I'm gonna add the last layer here. And I'll probably put one more layer of the um, eggplant on at the end, and then I'll put my Parmesan cheese, I mean my mozzarella cheese on top of that. So I'm just gonna add the rest of the uh, pesto and a little bit more of the cheese. Okay, not using all of that right now. And I do think I'm gonna end up making a pizza. I'm super excited about that. It's gonna be so, so good. Um, but this is gonna be great for y'all that wanna have a lot of healthy food. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more of this in here. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna do one more layer of the eggplant, I had a little bit extra. Normally I just do three layers, but I had a little bit extra. I used a bit large eggplants this go round, and then I'm gonna save the other eggplants and put them and just, you know, eat them with a little bit of sauce. Tonight, I think that's gonna be my dinner. This eggplant is so good. I tasted some a little while ago and it is just so delicious. Do y'all just love eggplant? Okay, also you can get my book at Amazon um, or you can order it from my website and I will sign it for you. But it, at Amazon, if you could leave me a review, I would just absolutely love that. It's always so helpful, all right? And I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna put a little bit more pesto on top of that and then I'm gonna add a tad more of this cheese and then I'm gonna put, top it all off 
with my mozzarella cheese. Okay, now of course you can use real noodles if you want to. And I do love to make homemade noodles. They are so good, lasagna noodles. They're delicious. So I'm gonna top that off and then I'm gonna put it at 350 for about 35 minutes. And then I'm gonna turn, if this is not browned like I want it, I will turn on the broiler and let it get nice and bubbly. Take it out and let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes so that it can, you know, kind of all congeal together and you can cut nice clean slices. So I'm gonna come right on over here and put it in the oven. I am so excited about this. This is gonna be delicious. Okay, and I've got it preheated to 350. All right, and then I'll serve that with a salad with a really good vinaigrette. And I have a vinaigrette recipe in here. I have an herb salad recipe in here. And you will love, love, love um, this book. I've got everything in here from making sausage to, um, you know, making tomato sauce, any kind of thing that you can do in, from your garden um, or the wild and beef, chicken, all kinds of stuff, you can get that. So StacyLynnHarris.com, subscribe to my newsletter and get the book. So y'all, I'm excited.